The first teaser trailer dropped for the Black Widow standalone movie from Marvel. The film takes us back in time and introduces us to a host of characters we haven't seen before. Here's a breakdown of the characters in the teaser, who they are and what we know about them, plus an explanation of a few other key Easter eggs. Let's briefly start with the main character, Black Widow aka Natasha Romanoff. While a Black Widow movie might initially seem confusing, because we saw the character die in Avengers Endgame, this movie actually takes place in the past and appears to explore her somewhat mysterious backstory. In the timeline for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, this movie is set to take place right after the events of Captain America Civil War. In that film, Black Widow was forced to go into hiding. She became a wanted criminal when she betrayed Thaddeus Ross and the US government by helping Captain America escape from the German airport with Bucky Barnes, aka the Winter Soldier. A de-aged Thaddeus Ross appears briefly at the start of the trailer for Black Widow, along with a number of troops. It seems he's trying to hunt down Black Widow. The first person that Black Widow reunites with in the teaser trailer is Yelena Belova, played by Florence Pugh, who she calls her sis. Belova first appeared in the comics in Inhumans number 5, and there's no record that she is Nat's real sister. It's possible they use that term of endearment because when they were younger, they trained together in the Red Room, a place where female spies were groomed to be Soviet agents. It seems from the trailer that the two have a messy history, which explains this fight scene, and is also backed up by the comics. At a point, Belova was even sent to kill Natasha. In the comics, Belova is Natasha's successor, eventually becoming Black Widow. When Black Widow is killed by Hydra's Captain America lookalike, Belova reassumes the Black Widow identity and fights for the good guys. Because Natasha died in Endgame, as far as we know, it seems highly likely that Florence Pugh as Yelena Belova will be our new Phase 4 Black Widow. That brings us to this guy, Red Guardian. Now, in the comics, there were several people who wore the mantle of Red Guardian, but actor David Harbour of Stranger Things fame is listed as Alexei Shostakov, the second person to assume the mantle of the legendary Soviet fighter. One thing that remains to be seen is if Shostakov and Natasha were ever married, because for a period in the comics, they were together. It's possible because right before we're introduced to the character, we hear the line, It's gonna be a hell of a reunion. And later in the trailer, he says, Family, back together again. Which could mean that they were an item at one point in the MCU timeline. We know that he's not Natasha's father because in Endgame, we learn her father's name is Ivan. Although Ivan is probably a reference to Ivan Petrovich, who in the comics is just Nat's adopted father, who took her to be trained as a Soviet spy. Black Widow and Red Guardian were both trained as Soviet agents, so it's likely their paths would have first crossed during that time. In the comics, Shostakov was a pilot, but was chosen for an experiment when the Soviets realized they should have a rival soldier to Captain America. They went so far as to give him a shield that magnetically returns to him. And looking at his costume in the teaser trailer, you can see his parallels with Cap. We also get a brief glimpse of Melina Vastikov, played by Rachel Weiss. We don't learn much about her from the teaser trailer. Literally all she says is, You got fat. But she's playing a potentially important character, Iron Maiden. We don't see it in the trailer, but that character is often wearing a skin-like metal exoskeleton, which increases her strength. Hopefully we'll get to see her like this in the movie. Like Belova, she also was trained in the Red Room, but was always outshone by Natasha, which harbored a hatred between the two characters. Like Belova, Vastikov was also sent to kill Natasha. Iron Maiden is a character with an interesting history in the comics, having been part of a group called the Femazons and a lieutenant for Superia, a notable Marvel villain. So who's the guy with the bow and arrow? That's Taskmaster, a villain who has photographic reflexes and is able to instantly replicate the physical movement of his adversaries, gaining deadly archery abilities from Hawkeye, for example. Once the Taskmaster has mastered an opponent's physical movements, he can then predict his opponent's next attack. Taskmaster first appeared in the Avengers number 196. His real name is Tony Masters, and he was born with photographic reflexes, which allowed him to effortlessly replicate the movements of top athletes after seeing them on television. 
and during one mission, he injected himself with a syringe containing an experimental Nazi version of the super soldier serum, the serum that turned Steve Rogers into Captain America. The syringe enhanced his reflexes and allowed him to instantaneously mimic the fighting style and movements of his opponents. However, a side effect of the serum was severe memory loss, causing him to forget that he was ever in S.H.I.E.L.D. In the comics, he's capable of holding his own against Captain America, Spider-Man, and more. So it makes sense that he appears to be fairly evenly matched with Red Guardian in the trailer. Although we are curious as to how Taskmaster's S.H.I.E.L.D. got buried in the floor. At the end of the trailer, it appears that his henchmen are chasing after Black Widow, as the skydiving soldiers have masks that resemble Taskmasters. On top of all the characters, there are also some Easter eggs in the teaser. The opening shot of the trailer shows Budapest. Black Widow has mentioned Budapest several times in Marvel movies, vaguely referencing a mission that happened in the city with Hawkeye several times throughout the Infinity Saga. The first time it's mentioned is in Avengers during the Battle of New York. Black Widow quips to Hawkeye. Just like Budapest all over again. You and I remember Budapest very differently. The next time we hear about Budapest is in Captain America Winter Soldier, when Alexander Pierce warned Romanoff that all her dark secrets, including Budapest, would come out if she exposed Hydra and S.H.I.E.L.D. If you do this, none of your past is going to remain hidden. Not Budapest, not Osaka. The final time that we hear about Budapest is during Avengers Endgame. A long way from Budapest. So it appears that something important happened to Black Widow while she was in Budapest with Hawkeye. However, all of the previously referenced events happen before the Black Widow movie occurs in the MCU timeline. Maybe we'll learn about Natasha's history with Budapest in the movie. Another reference to the MCU is the opening line of the trailer. Natasha says, I used to have nothing, and then I got this job, this family. This is a line from Avengers Endgame, from a conversation she had with Steve Rogers after five years had passed since Thanos' first snap. Next, we get a host of shots from past Marvel movies. Here we see Nat's vision from Avengers Age of Ultron. She appears to remember her ballet training and spy training back in Russia, when Scarlet Witch gets into her mind. Next, we see a shot of Nat walking. This is from the first Avengers movie, when she brings Captain America inside S.H.I.E.L.D.'s airship for the very first time. Right after that, we see a shot from later in the same movie. Clint and Natasha exchange looks after Clint is finally released from Loki's mind control. Then, after a quick shot of Nick Fury, we see Natasha shooting while falling through a corridor. This is a shot from an early scene in Captain America Winter Soldier, where she and Cap board a ship to save hostages and recover S.H.I.E.L.D. intelligence. Throughout this video, we've referenced the Red Room a couple times, and we even get a small glimpse of this infamous location in the teaser but it's not the first time we've heard of it in the MCU. Nat mentions it in an intimate scene in Avengers Age of Ultron. In the Red Room, where I was trained, where I was raised, um, they have a graduation ceremony. They sterilize you. One final Easter egg is that it appears the vest that Yelena is wearing in the trailer is the same vest that we see Natalia wearing in Infinity War. This seems like an ominous sign for Yelena, but we'll have to wait until the movie's release to find out for sure. So there you have it. Was there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments.